What's up guys, it's Coding with Arsentech and today I will show you how to make a weather app using HTML, CSS and JavaScript and using a REST API called OpenMeteo. Are you looking for the source code of advanced and challenging coding tutorials? Join my Patreon page and unlock access to source codes for complex projects and coding tutorials. It is a great way to support the channel and level up your coding skills. Head over to my Patreon page and start exploring some source codes of complex projects today. Link is in description. So without any further ado, let's get started. In order to make a weather application using JavaScript, all you need to do is to have some assets. 31 icons and the background image. On the index.html file, we will add a container and h1. Inside of h1, we will type weather app, which is the name of the application. Then we will add a form with input and a button, which is a search box. And now we will add a weather details. We will add a h2, which says weather in location. Then we will add a grid. Inside of that grid, we will add an icon, which is a weather condition icon. By the way, I'm using an open source weather API called OpenMeteo. Inside of that, there are some weather codes. For example, zero is clear, but for example, 61, 63 or 65 means rain. Those are weather condition codes. Okay, back to the code. We will add the temperature text. Note that this is an icon and this is a text. Then add a weather condition name say, saying for example clear. Then I will add the information. Inside of that we will add the information of humidity and a wind speed. And then we will add a daily forecast. And then we will add an attribution because I took a background image from Pixabay. Onto the CSS code. Inside of style.css we will add a body. And we will make everything center. And now I've added an attribution style just in case. Then I will style the container. Then we will style the search box and then a button. Here is what the search box will look like. Note that it is not functional. And now let's add the waiter details which initial value is none, but on active class, it is display flex. Then we will add a grid, which is a two by two grid. And then we will style the temperature class and the temperature text. And then we will style the information. We will add an align item center display flex. And then onto the daily forecast cards. We will add a scroll bar, we will style a scroll bar and then we will style the cart. We will add spacing between the cart text, we will move everything to center and we will resize the SVG of that. And then we will make it horizontal and make sure justify content is set to space between. Here is what the user interface will look like. This is a search bar. In here, we will check how many degrees is outside. We will check the humidity level and a wind speed. And then we will also check the daily forecast here. In mobile, it, it is look like this because we don't have a responsive design. Let's add it. We will add a responsive design where the screen's max width is 500 pixels. Then the max width should be 275 pixels, but on this media query, we will make this grid one by one. We will make the information horizontally and add a spacing between those LI elements of this information class. Here is what the user interface will look like on mobile devices. Now let's add the attribution style of width 100%. We will make the bottom and left values to zero. And then we will remove the border radius. 
Here is what the attribution text will look like. Let's add the text align center. It is perfect. Oh, we have noticed a bug. The search box is not perfect. Let's fix that. Let's add the style between those two. And on the search box, let's add a spacing between each other of 5 pixels. Here it is fixed. The bug has been fixed. Okay, but if I type a city name, it, it doesn't work because we haven't added a JavaScript code yet. Now let's add it. We will link the elements such as search box, weather details element, location text, weather condition icon and weather condition name, and also temperature text, humidity text, wind speed text, and we will add a location input, a daily forecast elements, and that's it. Then we will create two functions. One of them is get location, and one of them is get weather. On get location function, we will fetch the API, which searches the location. Then we will make the response to a JSON type response. And then we will get a result, and we will return name and the coordinates such as latitude and longitude. This function helps search location and returns the latitude and longitude onto the get weather. We will get the name, latitude and longitude from get location function, which is an asynchronous function. So that is why I use an await and why you should use it too. We will fetch the API by latitude and longitude and we will get the current temperature, humidity, check if it is a day or night, a weather code, a wind speed for current weather. But for daily forecast, we'll return a weather code, maximum temperature and minimum temperature. And then we will make the response to a JSON response. And then it will return a name, a current weather and a daily forecast. Now we will add an element, search box that add in the listener submit. Prevent default method cancels the event. In this case, when user clicks on a submit button, it prevents it from submitting a form. We will remove the active class and we will set the daily forecast elements in our HTML to an empty string. Now we will get a weather information from a location input which is this. And then we will get from weather current a temperature, humidity, checks if it is a day or night, a weather code, a wind speed. And from daily elements, we will get a daily weather code, maximum temperature, minimum temperature, and a timestamp. And then we will get a weather condition from this object. On every single key, it has a name, which is a weather condition name, by its code. And then we have two icons. One of them is an icon for day and one of them is for night. And the weather code is like an index of it. Now we will get an image source and check if it is a day, then return the day icon. Otherwise return a night version of this icon. Then we will set the location, temperature, humidity, wind speed, weather condition name, an icon, and that's it. And now let's loop through elements, daily weather code, maximum temperature, minimum temperature and time is an array, which length is seven. We will get a weather condition from the array, a temperature max, minimum temperature, a timestamp. Then we will create an element. We will give a class name of that cart. And in here, we will add the following image, maximum temperature, and a minimum temperature. And then we will add a timestamp. We will add the element to daily forecast elements and then we will activate the weather details. Now let's test it. If I type the city name, 
it shows the temperature, a humidity, a wind speed and a daily forecast. Let's type another city name, for example, Berlin. Here it shows weather in Berlin. Let's type, for example, Los Angeles. It works, but we have one error. If I name a search, for example, like this, it gives an error saying cannot read properties of undefined reading zero. Let's fix that. Inside of that, we will add a try catch. But before that, let's add an error text. We have an error message. Let's link an error message to JavaScript. And inside of the catch method, we will add the following error text. Okay, if I type something like this. Oh, sorry. I mean error text dot text content, okay. If I type something like this, it returns location not found. Let's handle this. Right now, if I search location like this, it returns location not found. If I type something like this, it says, please enter a location to get weather details. So that means we fixed the error. Here is what the app will look like. If I search a city, for example, Berlin, it returns our weather details from Berlin. Let's try Los Angeles. It works. Now let's try Moscow. Now let's try the coldest location yet, which is Oim Yakon. Oim Yakon's weather is extremely cold. The weather app with daily forecast works well. That is it guys, thanks for watching, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like, share this video and comment, and don't forget to join my Patreon page. Have a nice day.